Hello guys, welcome to Tech Recovery IT Solutions and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of uh, trackpad not working in uh, Lenovo uh, laptops, especially uh, it's in the T series in all T series, E series and uh, most of the Lenovo will be the same so follow the steps and it will help 100%. So if you can see, uh, I have Windows 11 here and uh, my trackpad is not working. So there can be like, you know, multiple possibilities. So I will start from the very beginning and the very um, possible one. So what I, uh, I have to do, uh, just restart the laptop and I want you to go to the BIOS menu. So for that, I have to hard res uh, restart the password and start clicking enter. Oh, I missed it. So let's just uh, restart it again completely. Let's just wait for it when it's just off. Yeah, so just turn it on back and uh, keep pressing enter. Yeah, so it's it's uh, in the BIOS menu. Uh, press F1. So we are here in the BIOS menu now. Uh, by the way the laptop I'm using right now it's T450s but doesn't matter uh, almost all of the Lenovo has the same BIOS setup and everything so the options will be the same so you have to go to the configuration and the configuration you can see we have um, different uh, parts of the laptop which we can manage from here and if you see there's like keyboard and mouse if you uh, press enter you can see that the track point is uh, enabled but trackpad is disabled so if any of these is disabled just enable uh, both of them and press f10 it will save uh, the, the settings press enter and then uh, press escape and now it's just restarting the laptops so the laptop will be restarted and we'll see if it fixes the trackpad issue okay we will see if it solves the problem then uh, i'll go and uh, even if it works i'll tell you some more steps as well uh, that will help uh, 100 percent so oh yeah cool in my case uh, so this is uh, working and it worked uh, my tra trackpad is working fine both of the uh, right and left buttons are working okay so if you are using windows 10 or windows 11 doesn't matter in both uh, the procedure will be the same go and check for control panel or right click on the windows key i have to just make it a bit closer so that you guys can uh, look at it properly so right click on the start button in the windows 10 it it will be here the start button now in windows 11 it's here so right click and go to device manager you can go uh, to, uh, to device manager through control control panel as well but this is a good idea to do it from the here it's easy right click and go to device manager so device manager i'm already here if you can see there are all components of the laptops and if you uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, drivers missing uh, or not updated drivers so sometimes if your operating system is new or let's say you do like uh, uh, windows updates recently and that update updates goes bad if they're not installed properly then some of the component of the laptop stopped working so in that case my suggestion would be if the bios thing work good and well if that doesn't uh, if that didn't work then there are two options to fix it you can either connect to the internet and after connecting to the internet you can uh, update all these drivers uh, manually like update driver update driver it will install the drivers and after that when all of them these are done then you have to restart your computer but another uh, important thing is like a easy way to do it automatically all of them and uh, even if uh, those updates which you you don't see in here but which are required for the laptop to be updated you can uh, get that from um, from windows uh, updates and for that you have to go to settings in windows 10 click here on start and third option will be settings in windows 11 you can see it here in apps so now in windows 11 and windows 10 both are the same click on windows updates and let's see uh, i have to uh, um, enter my wi-fi uh, let's see 
let me just okay so my Wi-Fi will be connected and let's see yeah it's connected now so it see it's automatically start checking for updates uh, now wait for the updates uh, and if there are any updates it will start uh, downloading the updates in my case it uh, don't has it because I've installed a fresh operating system and let's say maybe after searching like you know um, searching it again it will pick something like some updates because there are some drivers missing uh, in the device manager anyhow this is another option you can do it from here okay if if updates are pending for you wait for the updates when updates are done you will get a notification in here with the battery sign with the wi-fi sign that uh, uh, your laptop uh, or your computer required a restart so do a restart once the updates are done and see that will uh, solve the problem if it didn't solve the problem then i have another solution for you go to the control the go to the device manager again right click on the start menu and go to the device manager and in the device manager you can see mice and other pointing devices so this is my trackpad now so i have to update the drivers manually for this one and click search automatically for the drivers now the best drivers are installed for me because it's working for me so uh, i don't have issue with that so if you in your case if uh, it required any updates it will start downloading the file then you will understand that that's the problem but if that's not the case then right click come come here again right click and uninstall this device so when you uninstall this device after that go back and restart the machine when you restart the computer okay one thing in mind let's just see i'll do it in front of you so right click on it and uninstall this device okay you you are about to uninstall the device from the system yes uninstall it okay uh, to finish remove device yes restart the computer now so it will restart the computer and you will see that after the restart the drivers will be uh, installed automatically again so let's say if there is something uh, bad or your computer is not reading the drivers properly then after this restart and after uninstalling and this restart the computer will install the drivers automatically and it will install it properly so if that's the problem that that will solve the problem as well the issue will be solved now just wait for it and uh, we will see I've already uninstalled the drivers if it didn't work then I have to go to the device manager and do it from there but normally uh, it will do it or a restart you see I've already uninstalled the drivers but now it's installed back so that will solve the problem as well if that's not the issue if that didn't solve uh, your problem so my next um, suggestion would be it's a hardware issue and uh, might be uh, the, um, the the wire like the strip uh, which is connected to the board from the trackpad is loose or bad so what you can do uh, that i can make another video and i'll show you how to open the like the laptop and uh, see the connection of the trackpad with the motherboard uh, and we will see like if it's loose how to make it fix or if it's bad how to know uh, that it's bad uh, so far uh, I'm 100% hopeful like 90% of the cases the issue is from the BIOS in the BIOS it's disabled and people are you know playing hard with the trackpad they will be like moving it maybe it's bad or not bad so don't go for you know uh, any next step if you don't see the BIOS first of all check the BIOS if that didn't solve the problem go for other options if that didn't solve the problem 100% it is the hardware issue and for that I'll make another video uh, follow the channel and uh, see the link uh, in the other video how to open Lenovo ThinkPad and uh, know the trackpad connections thank you so much for watching this video uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye